What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today, um, within the next hour or two, we are going to have Prime Series 2. Super hyped for this. So freaking hyped. Um, we got some MT racked up. We're slowly starting to finish the Richard Jeffersons. We got five challenges done. We played about seven today, or yesterday, I should say. Freaking shot, bro. Um, big week today. Um, we got five of these left. As usual, man, drop 20,000 MT in the comments. Like the video and sub if you are new. And guys, today um, is a very special day. Big market crash, I'm guessing, coming. Now, this market crash is going to be based off if the content is actually fire. So... That's number one. Hopefully the content's fire. If the content is fire, we're going to have a market crash. I'm going to have a video on Saturday pre record for you guys about the market crash. And also, we're going to have uh, the new content video and this video preparing on how to prepare for Prime 2. So if you don't know what Prime is, Prime is simply um, pretty much players in their Prime, obviously. And they drop a set like this. Five players in a set and a bunch of these cards to go with it. So now... 2K to release a picture or video of a 97 with a question mark blurred out a 97 overall. Who can it be? I have no idea to be honest. Uh, people are saying it's Harden. There's if it's Harden, I literally I don't even know what to say. If it's Harden, like what are they doing? So that's number one. Prime series. So we're gonna get a new Galaxy Opal, which is gonna be sick. We're probably gonna get a 97 uh, pink diamond, a 98 a 97 and a 98 and then maybe a 99 opal in here too and then an opal over there so i'm thinking we're gonna get an opal towards march the last as the last car in the prime series 2 but yeah this is prime series 1 unfortunately i do not have it done so yeah you're not gonna get tokens we're probably gonna have a sick galaxy opal player my guess is Shaq. that would be insane so uh without further ado let's get into some market let's talk about what you guys should do um there's actually a lot to do. Personally, I have actually mixed opinions on selling what and doing what. So let, without further ado, let's get into it. So right now, I'm stuck on selling some cards. I don't know what the hell to do. You guys need to let me know. So I have Hakeem. I have five challenges left to do it. But now if the prime packs are fired tomorrow, I'm going to get screwed over because his price is going to drop. But realistically... If I do not sell my Hakeem, I'm going to lose... If I sell him now, I'm going to lose MT. But if I wait, I'm going to lose probably another 20k MT. Do I care that much about 20k MT? That's the thing. I don't know. See, like, a lot of people are also asking me this question. Um, Preparing is pretty much selling all your cards. As you can see, Hakeem just sold for 160. Now, that is a big L. He's going to keep dropping, which is annoying. Um, I don't know. I'm going to wait, I guess, till Sunday. Hopefully, I don't lose that much MT. But, um, yeah. So, what's going to happen is Prime Packs are going to drop. There's going to be a crazy amount of snipes that you guys need to be on the auction for. A ton of snipes. A ton of investments. Literally, a ton of investments. Everything's going to drop in price. People are going to spam the packs. You guys got to get ready for a market crash. And how to get ready is pretty much by selling all your cards and following some market tips by me. And uh, I'm going to go over some cards you should buy during this market crash. And also, um, pretty much every card you have. I know it's kind of hard to do this, but if you want to make MT, I would recommend selling most of your cards today um, within the hour if you do watch this video. I'm probably going to drop this around 9 o'clock in the morning Eastern time. So, yeah. Um, Kobe might go around 75k tomorrow. A ton of cards are going to drop. There is always a pre-market crash, which is now. That's why, that's why Hakeem is so cheap. That's why I don't want to sell him now. But, um, yeah. Right now, you're going to see. Like, this is going to be posted around 9.30 Eastern. You're going to see the market slowly go down and down and down. Prime packs drop. Rush to Amethyst 20s. I'm going to tell you this right now. This is low-key the best filter in the game um, you want to look for Giannis, Curry, LeBron. It's fast. It's simple. And not only that, pretty much anything that pops up at the certain price is a snipe regardless because you could just wait a day or two and they'll, you'll be an investment. So most likely, 
Paul George will be around 5K. AD around 5K. Harden will be around 5K. Scoop whatever you see for 5K and quickly just buy anything you see. If you see them based at 5K, buy all of them. Because on Sunday, they go up to around 7, 8. And not only that, this filter includes Giannis. It includes Curry. It includes LeBron. It includes... Um, Who's the other one? AD, like I said, and Kevin Durant. So this filter and Kawhi. So this filter, if you see any of those players pop up at a price under like 6K, I would say, pick them up, wait a day or two. On Sunday, I like selling my Amethyst 20s, restack moments on Monday, and is literally the money filter investments. That's one way to prepare for the market crash, one way to prepare for Prime Series 2. Now also, Prime Series 1, I am predicting these cards go up a ton. Now, I said sell them if you want to. Honestly, with T-Mac going for that much, I doubt he'll be even more expensive. I would say hold on to them, but they're so expensive right now. It's honestly just a complete sell now. You never know when 2K could drop Prime Series Pack 1 Super Packs, which would kill everything, which would also mean a market crash would happen. But yeah, right now sell everything you have amethyst 20 filter um silver filters heat check filters whatever you want to do bro i don't care just listen to me um we're gonna go over this silver filter right here since there is a prime series pack silvers heat checks not not heat checks um silvers are gonna drop a ton considering um you could pull a ton of silvers in the prime packs they're not that op so a lot of people are gonna pull silvers, a lot of people. So tomorrow's a really good day to stack up on silvers for around 1200 MT and simply sell them the next day. It's gonna be a really, really good day to do that. And um, as you can see, I am trying to fill up my collection. I'm getting closer and closer to that 200 token war. I'm gonna have around uh, 800 tokens, bro. That's pretty solid if you ask me. Um, a lot of people have like 2,500 tokens. Listen, I play the game a lot, but I do not have 2,500 tokens. Um, if you guys also, um, make sure you save your tokens. Don't buy anything in the token market. Just wait till stuff drops so we can just get a ton of token players. But yeah, heat check. I mean, silver cards, amethyst cards. Another filter that I would recommend when the market does crash is amethyst 2K, bro. This filter actually might be the hottest filter ever when the new packs drop. There's going to be a ton of new cards, and you guys need to prepare. Also, when the Prime Series 2 does come out, whatever the diamond is, and whatever the pink diamond is, or whatever the hell it is, a diamond, amethyst, always try to stay on those filter within the first two hours. Within the first two hours, you're going to see crazy snipes, and not only that, they sell like this. So, let's say there's a new diamond, Kristaps, right, and he's going for like 80k MT. If you get one for 60k and you put him up for 80k, he sells in 0.1 seconds. Like, it's crazy. That's why I love sniping on Prime Series 2. That is another tip for you guys that is very effective. It worked on every single promo for me. I sniped out a ton of, ton of Josh Smiths when they first dropped. Made about 50k MT off him in an hour alone. So, try that out. Also, bro, same with the moments when the Chris Paul dropped, the Kuzma dropped. Made a ton of MT off that. Um, Try to think. You could try sniping out the new Pink Diamond Prime player. The chances of you getting it are low. Like I said, a lot of PS4 guys do have a better chance at sniping cards. I don't know why. Every snipe video I do see is on PS4. I feel like Xbox is a lot harder to get snipes. I don't know why. I, I guess there's more people playing 2K on PS4. Maybe that's why. I'm not sure. But every snipe video I have seen over the last like years, bro, it's always on PS4. I don't know why. I have no idea. Maybe all the coin sponsors are on PS4. I'm not sure. But without further ado, right now, like I said, if you have Hakeem, I'm going to say this. It's bold. I'm going to hold on to mine. It's kind of bold. I'm kind of scared. Kobe, I will be selling. I will be selling Carmelo Anthony. I will be selling everyone besides Hakeem and Kenyon Martin because I need to get these solos done. Like I said, I'm five away. Once I get them done, everybody's out of my collection. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to... Evo this Kareem. It's kind of hard, man. It's so hard. I hate it. But yeah, we're trying to Evo him. And honestly, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you listen to my tips and try sniping those things. And also, Market Crash is inbound, so stay tuned for that. Hope you guys did enjoy. Stay tuned for more content. We got the new content video. We got the preparing video. And we probably got the Market Crash video as well. 
as you as I said, I'm going away today. Um, and I'm going, I have four pre recorded videos for you Saturday and Sunday. So stay tuned for that. Hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to drop the sub. Have a good one.